my god, they have a corona. <coughs> <coughs> Hello and good morning. As you can tell, I at 5:50 a.m. I am not on for speaking. So here is me just um, getting ready. So I first start off with my hair, and you can tell it takes me about an hour to brush my hair because it's so long. And for some reason, in the whole of these little tracks, I'm pulling so many weird faces. So please just ignore that. Let's pretend that doesn't happen. So anyway, I've gone for a middle parting this morning, and I'm just brushing it back into a nice, lovely ponytail, which is clearly taking me a long time. I really don't understand why. It usually takes me about five seconds in the morning. For this morning, I've just decided to do the long way around, and now I'm brushing it down so it doesn't look as put face, and then I look smart at work ready for my first day on placement and again look I'm still brushing it for some reason when I edited this I don't understand why I put so much of this in with me brushing my hair but anyway moving on I'm pulling a few bits out of my hair making the weirdest faces as ever for some bizarre reason I just seem to like pulling faces this morning and now I've put it in a bubble finally as it's taken me about five minutes and now oh look I'm twisting it very slowly around my head putting it into a bun and a bit of this has popped up. Anyway, I've just wrapped a bubble around there and fingers crossed I'm going to put some bobby pins in because it's going to that all out after my 13 hour shift. Anyway, I just pop the bobby pins in whenever I, wherever I fancy. If I feel a little bump, then I'll just shove it in. But it looks like I'm just shoving them in. Yes, I'm just shoving them in. Oh no, I'm grabbing my hairspray and I'm just giving that a nice spray. As you can see, slow more effect to show you how much I hate hairspray as it stinks, and I feel like it gives me an asthma attack. But anyway, aside from that point, we'll just pretend that I do love hairspray and it makes my hair 10 times better. And as you can see, I use the cheapest hairspray, which is Inter. Then I go on to drawing out my brows, which I don't do every morning, I just did this morning to show you that sometimes a little bit of TLC can make your day go 100 times better and it makes you feel on top of the world. So anyway, I put the eyebrow product in and then brush it out as happy as Larry at 6am in the morning. Then I go on to curl my eyes, eyelashes, <laughs> and I make the weirdest faces in the whole wide world. But who cares, curling your eyelashes is worth it. Pulls them all out, but again, it doesn't matter. And now, it's my one pound mascara from Primark, which is, again, waterproof, so if anyone grumbles on me or anything, I am covered on that matter. Then we put a little bit of lip balm on, which I don't really like, because it doesn't have this acid in that needs to have in. So, yeah, that's on that. And then I put a little bit of moisturiser on. This is the second moisturiser of the morning, because skincare is integral and you need it. And then I rub it everywhere, even into the back of my head, and I give you a thumbs up. And now I sad face because it's now, I'm ready to go. So yeah. Oh, and then here I am. Here's me, who has put mascara on their face, and is total shocks by the matter. So yeah. Good morning. Good morning, bro. Now this flask keeps my drink incredibly hot, so I have to pour half of it in with water as I bit my tongue until about 8 pm. We'll literally keep it hot forever. I have a six pound of it eBay. Um, if I find it, I'm not even going to go. But then that's not find it. Look at this too, you've been playing. 
に。It feels like 10 p.m. at night. Can't you see Oh my god, what is it like? Oh, it's like 10 p.m. That's how early it is. You see me, the whole thing, I've just mourned about how early I have to get up. It's just pure effort. I'm here. Yay. I, mean, I don't know. I think it's like 6.45 now. 6.45, yeah. Let's go, let's go in kitchen. Enjoy, yeah. enjoy the day. Yeah. I didn't know that, but it'll be fun. It'll be fun, it'll be fun. It will be fun. It smells, it smells. I've got to the bathroom because I'm so unsociable. No, I'll do it. My bum's so weird. I just can't smell. It's like half oh, day. Six hours to go. Which way do I go then? Wow, well, actually, compare me, start of me this morning to now. Like, oh, anyway, well, like, I'm saying, like, it's a big. Trip. Big um, change. It's just not. I'm just tired, and now I just need to go and have a shower and, and chill and look after myself. But yeah, it is the time now is 20 to 9. Just got back. So that's a long day, but I now got two days off. <laughs> I just want to forget. I got my flu job today, and now I can feel it. But it's important to get. So go get your flu job. But yeah. Peace out, see you tomorrow morning. What a crazy day. All I can say is the first, first days on placements are stressful. Yes. But they're always the best days because I always find that they're the days that you learn new stuff like a lot and you just think like, how did I not know this before, you know? Yeah, I've got four hours of living, 13 hours of working today. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, so first day of placement is now up. So I'm just gonna tell you a bit about what I did on the day because I've got some little things here because I forget. My brain is on site. Just, just like I said, things go in, things don't come out. I forget. Also, do you like my freckles? Did you have the little freckle folksy freckle look like, splatter it at yourself? So I've done my first day on placement. So I was on a breast and gynae ward, just in case you don't know. And yeah, it was really good. It went really well. So we obviously we all worked a little itch for how I got there and then when I left. And I literally did not film anything in between. Because it's awkward in the hospital because you can't because of like confidentiality and emergency code and it goes everything that you're against. So you're just gonna be wearing that. So I literally didn't film anything. I can film on my breaks, but I just didn't. So maybe I'll keep that in mind when I do another one. So I'm just gonna go through what I did on my first day on placement which actually went really well it was a good day it was quiet and it settled in really well so yeah i'm just going to take you through it so as soon as you get there now because of covid and everything that's going on and how it's spreading so fast you have to get changed so you have to set off a little bit earlier so i got there and i got changed then i went on to the ward and i said look hi i'm a student and um, blah 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 I introduced myself and then they told me who my mentor was and basically i then met my mentor and then my mentor then gave me like an orientation a mini tour of the hospital he showed me like what the sluice was, where all the equipment was kept, how the different bays are different because currently at the moment you'll have like a super green bay so that's where because as is a 
surgical pathway one, it's all surgical. So you have a green base, that's where there's no COVID, they should have isolated before they had the surgery, and then they'll go on there. But then you also have red, so that's emergencies, where all the emergencies go, or if they have any swabs or whatnot. And so that's all that. That went really quickly, and then I had my break, and I had my overnight oats. Um, you have three breaks. Well, I have three breaks, but the first break is complimentary. Usually it works out as if you have your first break, you have your lunch break, and the last break is complimentary. If you're really busy, you work through and finish 15 minutes earlier if you're shooting. But if not, you just um, have your break and then go back and work. Get your booty working. So yeah, and then whilst I was on my first break, the woman came around and said the flu jabs are available if you want one. So I was like, yes, I'm having it. I went and had my flu jab, as you know, because I've already said previously. And then throughout the day, we did like different things. First, I did like some obs, which is easier. You learn them on your first placement. They're easy, vital signs. You just get them right, focus on them. And if you're not confident on keep doing it and you will get absolutely confident, it's fine. And then we also did the meds round. So we were handing out some meds to different patients, checking the wristbands, using the fire arc, etc. You'll know what I'm on about if you need to. And if you don't, just research it, it'll, it'll pop up. My mentor also showed me some IVs. So I got to grips with them kind of, like I just got introduced to them. So that was really good, some IV infusions. That was interesting. Oh no, I think I need a poo. After that, we then looked at my PAR, which is my personal learning assessment document. I think PAS stands for something, but honestly, if I'm not honest, I have no idea what that stands for. PAS is just where you have to meet certain criteria to pass the assessment. So we filled that in. You have an initial interview, a middle and a final. We filled that in, which is really good because sometimes you can be on placements and they just you don't forget about it because you're so busy, you don't have time to. So make sure you put some time aside to fill that in because that's really important. You need to get that done. And sometimes they give you an end date and that can be really stressful. So if you just make the time, it's so worthwhile. Yeah, on my first day, I found out quite a lot. It was very interesting. In. I enjoyed it. It was quite quiet, but it means I settled in. Um, and yeah, it was really good. I met like different doctors and stuff, having the doctor's handover, hang out my breaks. Make sure you have lots of protein, eat good on placement. You don't want to be hungry because then you get cranky and you don't do as well as a job. You want to be alert. So if you are on placement, I hope it all goes well. And if I could give you any tips, lots of sleep, lots of rest when you're off. You're asking loads of questions. Not one question is a stupid question. I've learned that. I've asked some silly questions in my time. Ask, 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 ask. If you're not confident, don't do it if you are do and yeah you'll have a blast so yes if you're going on placement good luck and if you're not good luck with whatever you are doing thank you for watching my video if you really liked it please follow me at molly 5 stevens and like and subscribe oh, i'm just gonna show that oh my god there you go my kissy faces no. goodbye my lover goodbye my friend